Hello everyone, my name is Rachel and welcome back to my foodie channel. It's been a long time. Um, I recently moved and I recently got a new job, which was one of my older jobs, but everything's starting to settle down. But it was like a whole month of the... I constantly had no time. <laughs> Every single one of my days off uh, was basically just me running errands. <laughs> But today I decided to start something new. I want to do a thing where every one or two weeks at the start of the week, so Sunday or Monday, I'm going to try a new food that I haven't tried yet. I made a spinner wheel that I will constantly be updating of foods that I haven't tried, either a meal, like a dish, or just an ingredient of something that I just have never had the chance to try. So I decided today for my video of coming back, I would do that and I spun the wheel. And it looks like today we are trying durian. I looked it up and it is not the same thing as jackfruit, which I have tried. So that's why I added it to the list. So I'm thinking that I'm going to try it just by itself. So I'm going to go to an oriental market that I found nearby that says that they have them and I'm gonna buy one and try it like that. I'm gonna look it up to see if that's safe. <laughs> I also want to see if I can find it in some kind of dish. I will have to look into that to see if there's a restaurant that does that, but hopefully we can try it that way too. All right, I have found a market. <laughs> I have found a supermarket that says that they have durian and jackfruit. So I'm hoping to just go in an in and out situation, go in, Buy one durian, come out. A few moments later. So they didn't have it. <laughs> I don't know, they just didn't have even a slot for them. So I found two more markets on this street. I'm gonna go to both of them. We are getting a durian today. 20 minutes later. Still no durian. I did find a durian snack. So we're getting closer. I have one more market to go to, so we shall see. 12 seconds later. All right, guys, I tried my best. I could not find durian. I found jackfruit. I did find that. But I did find durian crackers, so let's try those. Okay, so here it is. They also had other flavors. I think a fruit-flavored one and a honey one or something like that, but I found a durian one, so I grabbed this one. I will just say, as soon as I opened up the package, the smell is not pleasant. It does not smell good. It smells like something's rotting. But you know what? It could be really good. So I don't have a drink to wash this down. I'm just going to take a bite and just hope for the best. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Interesting. There's like a lot of the flavor on this side. It's kind of like a creme brulee situation where it's like really hard on top and it's got that crack. It's interesting. I don't really know how to feel about it because the aftertaste is not really pleasant. But when I first bit into it, like when I first put my tongue on this side, so sweet. Oh my goodness. Let me try it again. Yeah, I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> Maybe I'm just smelling it. Because over here, I'm like, yeah, there is no aftertaste. But as I'm, like, wafting it by my nose, I'm like, yeah, maybe there is a little bit of a funky aftertaste. <laughs> yeah, overall, I'm not sure how to feel about it. If that's what the fruit actually tastes like, it's mostly the smell that's off-putting. Because it smells just like, I mean, it tastes just like sugar. But the smell is really bad, like my car <laughs> Smells bad. On the way home, I'm going to have to drive with the windows down to air it out. <laughs> but sorry, this video did not go as planned. I mean, I could order durian online, but... Except that wasn't going to be the end of the video because I remembered about Gideon's Bakehouse. That's right, since this video is about trying new foods, I decided to go to Disney Springs to try Gideon's Bakehouse since it recently opened. And yes, I did wait in this long line just to get in. Here is a cute little menu that they gave me before entering. I kept it. It is super adorable. So from the outside it looks like a cute little maybe tavern house, but once you go in it is more Halloween themed. I liked it a lot. It reminded me of like a Tim Burton situation. They had a bunch of cool little cartoony drawings everywhere. 
They had flames, lanterns. It was a really fun atmosphere. They have their main flavors of cakes and cookies and coffees, but they also have limited edition flavors that I tried to get as well. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the limited edition flavor of the cake because they were sold out. This was a super cool little bakery and I really recommend it. All right, we are back. Um, I didn't want to eat the cookies and the cake from the bakehouse there at Disney Springs because it was very hot outside, um, about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And she actually advised me when I got home to put the cake in the fridge because it probably will melt by then. And I was like, oh yeah, okay. So we're gonna start with the cookies. They're hefty cookies and cakes. First up, I believe this is the limited edition peanut butter espresso. I mean, it is riddled <laughs> with chocolate chips. It smells really good though. It has like a powder of like, I'm assuming some kind of coffee or like cocoa powder on top too. Very chewy, right off the bat, that's really good. I'm more of a chewy cookie person instead of crunchy. I'm getting a lot of peanut butter. I don't really taste the espresso, it kind of just tastes like um, if a Reese's cup was made into a cookie. It's good though, it's like good milk chocolate, very chewy in the middle. But even then the peanut butter is not like super overpowering, it's just it tastes like a really good peanut butter cookie. There's some crispy bits in there. That one was a peanut. <laughs> I would like to have more espresso flavor in that because it was mostly just peanut butter. But overall it was really good still. Okay, next we have the original chocolate chip. This was like their go-to picture when they were going to be opening on the side of their building. Look at it, oh my God, you can barely see any cookie. This one is melting very fast and I think some of the chocolate chips have already started to melt because um, it's on the paper, but I will quick, quickly dive into this one. Very, very good. Tastes like a nice home-baked cookie, just extra. <laughs> yeah, it is melting everywhere, but that one's really good. I like that one more than the peanut butter espresso. Chewy, but it does have like a slight crisp around the edge. You get that initial crunch, but then it's just really soft and gooey on the inside. The cookies were $6 a piece. The cake that I have that I'm going to get out of the fridge um, is $9, but it's huge. <laughs> For the cake slices, they had secret slices that they have each month. They rotate them out. Fortunately, they were sold out, so I went with hazelnut latte because I think it sounded the most interesting. So can't wait to try that. Um, by the way, I weighed the cake. So yeah, the cake is pretty big, can't wait to try it. <laughs> but these two cookies were very good. I also got a root beer there for $2.50. Um, they had root beer or black cherry sodas. I went with a root beer and it was really good. Just tasted like a normal root beer, very sweet and very vanilla forward. So I appreciated it. All right, we are back with the cake. I'm gonna try to show you it. It is huge, it's heavy, it's over a pound. Look at all that frosting, there's like a thick layer of frosting. There's like some crunchy bits it looks like. I think that's like the hazelnut cream that they have and chocolate cake. It smells good. Yeah, this one smells like more like coffee than the peanut butter espresso one did. So I'm very excited, I'm just gonna take a spoon. I'm gonna try to get all the elements into one bite. Mm -hmm. Don't know if you can see that real well, but there's the chocolate cake and some frosting. The frosting is so buttery. <laughs> I put it in my mouth and it immediately melted. It was really good though. Nice balance of hazelnut and coffee. And the chocolate cake is super moist as well. Everything just melted nice. And then you get this crunch of like some hazelnut pieces. 
It kind of tasted almost like caramelly. I don't know which part. I think it was the hazelnut cream with the hazelnut pieces in it. But it was really good. Um, I think I like that one more than the cookies. <laughs> I really liked the cookies, but that cake, they also had red velvet cake, cookies and cream. They were out of the special slice. And then this one and one other one, I think just a regular chocolate cake. Overall, I highly recommend Gideon's Bakehouse. It did take me a while to get in there because it just recently opened up, but it's super nice inside. It wasn't what I was expecting at all when I went inside. I thought the menu, the halfway to Halloween, I thought that was just a cute little, oh, thing, but I think that's their theme. It's been very kind of like spooky on the inside, like cartoony. I liked it though. Kind of reminded me of like a Nightmare Before Christmas in a way. Like I felt like it was in that kind of land. They had some spooky music on the inside. So yeah, the aesthetics were really nice. I liked them a lot. They also had a line of cold brews and coffees, including their original peanut butter coffee. I don't drink coffee, so I didn't want to review it just to be like, oh, this doesn't really taste that good. If you like coffee, I recommend it, <laughs> but I don't think that I would like it. Anyway, this has been the impromptu Gideon's Bakehouse review. 10 out of 10 will definitely be going back and I will be waiting in the line again to try more things. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully the next time that I do one of these new week, new food episodes, I will be able to actually obtain the, the actual food. We were kind of close today, but not really. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys later in the next episode. Bye. They're hefty cookies and cakes.